Welcome to St. Joseph Church. We offer this Mass for the following intention. A special intention, best exam result of Jodeline Nicole Udasco for safety travel to Canada of Johnson Philip Altona. Good health of Mr. and Mrs. Balicera, Josie Makaya, Michelle Laureta Abaca, Tata Modelo, Musa Mocasarte, and birthday of Brother Jeff Mariano. For Thanksgiving, Mr. and Mrs. Balicera, Norma Natelio and family, Brother Jeff Mariano, Sis Jenny Dominic, Sis Elijah Valles, Ariane Joy, Colleen, Harvey, Leonardo Laguardia, Kalangian, Ignaco family, Emelda, Quejada, and family. And for the souls of Adelberta Abanico, Lee Pak Chong, Romeo Segundo Solidad Balisteros, Joseph Mar Mario Solidad, Balisteros, jo Jose Loses, Incarnacion, Christy Loses, Juanita, Danilo Loses Sr., Danilo Loses Jr., Nancy Villarreal, Vicente, Eleanor, San Jose, Marina, Ase, Arribalo, Bernardino, Nicasia, Samuel, Jesus Natalio, Juan, Laurelio, Rogelio, Gloria, Felipe, Teresa, Biason, Eulalia Martinez, Marquiades Ariola, Jesse Mark Natalio, Hermi Valles, Rosendo Marciana Laguardia, and Ivan Calangian, Jose Melujas, Femelujas, Fatima, Esperanza, Juan Quejada, Maria Reynaldo, Prudencio, Nazario Claudio, Luis Severina, Louis Cati Che, Maria Rosa, Emel Dali, Epitash, Glaceria, Javier, Eduardo, Dolores. And Thanksgiving, Lorena C. Peñola, Alca Ed, Edutante, and family. The reading says, Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you, that your prophets be found through. Hear the prayers of your servant and your people, Israel. Our mass presider for today, Father Joseph Tan, SPD. Let us all stand to join the choir to sing their entrance song. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the Nilis Mass. So now let us acknowledge our sins, prepare our heart to this holy Mass. 
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O Lord, the Creator and the Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our hearts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away. Your clothes have been become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded, and that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned, you have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. This is the way of those whose trust is fully, the end of those contented with their lot. Like sheep, they are herded into the netherworld. That is their shepherd and the upright rule over them. Blessed are the poor of spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Quickly their form is consumed, the netherworld is their palace. But God will redeem me from the power of the netherworld by receiving me. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, when the wealth of his house becomes great. For when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, 
They will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall join the circle of their forebears who shall never more see light. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. It all stand. the word of God, not as the word of man, but as it truly is, the word of God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, Truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will be no means lose the reward. If any of you put a, a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believes in me, it would be better for you if a great uh, millstone were hung around uh, your neck and you will throw into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life man than to have two hands and to go to the hell to the uncomfortable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off, it is better for you to enter life than then to have two feet and to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out, it is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell, where their worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. For everyone will be sorted with fire, and every sacrifice will be sorted with salt. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its saltless, how can you restore it? Have a thought in yourselves and be at peace with one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today my meditation would name it uh, to be different and to be peaceful. First, let us look at the to be different. You look at uh, each of our face, we are very different, isn't it? We hardly, when you walk outside, uh, someone to call another person's name, but uh, actually they are called you. Why? Maybe we have a similar face, but it doesn't happen every day, doesn't happen always. Why? Because each person are different, especially in the soul. We are unit in our God. So we go to deeper to look at it. We are different. We are not only different, but we are supposed to live according to the gift God gave to us. Don't admire that the person who is, you think the person is so good at this part. Yes, definitely, that person in that part do that thing so good. But we, each of us, have our own calling, spirit, and power, which is God give us. So they, we admire the other. At the same time, other people admire our 
special gifts from God. So that is why to be different is a correct thing. And when we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, when we receive the gift from God, then we are good at that part. Then we are not only good, but we can, we should not only can, we should make it better, develop it. So that、uh, this part of the ability, power, and will serve not only our life, our need, but also for the community. And that is what, that is the hero, among each of the nation, country, and the race. You can see some people are so brave, some people so generous, some people are so good in that part. They are not naturally good like that. They also have to develop, study, and grow up. So that's why. Let us make ourselves different to each other. But this difference is to serve, to help, and to love. Second, be peaceful. If we are same, we have the same thinking, then it will be peaceful. True, but it's impossible because if God going to create the each person all the same, like、uh, made from the factories, the same product, the same, then this world will lose meaning because everything same. If all the people think the same way, also impossible because we lose the opportunity of freedom. We have no choice: become a robot, become a. Deadly thing. We are different is because we have wisdom. That is why, when we are develop ourselves same time, we have to be also peaceful. That is what Jesus asks us at the end to say. Salt is good, but if salt has lose, lost its saltiness, how can you restore it? Have a sword in yourselves and be at peace with one another. You see, you have to have a sword. You have to be different, but at the same time, you have to peace to each other. So, how can we do? When we have different thinkings, understandings, and need, can we be peaceful? I would say, yes, we could be peaceful. How can we find the peace? I believe we. Should put ourselves of a standard of、uh, when we are gain, we happy, but at the same time we have peace. When we lose something, then we feel sad. Same time we have peace. Can we do that? Not that easy, but at least we should express our feelings. Nothing wrong, but. Not easy to keep peace, but we have to practice this、uh, character, this holiness. But does it means for peace? Then we don't、uh, fight for our right. No, the Christianity there is one strong character, one requirement of、uh, our life is also fight for the justice. We should fight for justice. But we are deal with the thing to do wrong, but not to deal with the person. That's why we gain, then we can have peace. We lost, we also can have peace. That is make a sword, also works, not a saltiness. So that is my meditation today. I believe if we could、uh, work in this way, and then. This world will be much better, and the community will be much better, because we have the spirit of God, and that is the spirit. So let us pray for this, for whatever the relationship, for the things happened, and now we pray. Please stand. 
Jesus told his disciples to get rid of anything that would prevent them from attending salvation. Let us pray that nothing may separate us from the love of God. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May we not cause people to lose faith in God or in religion by our bad example and scandalous conduct. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May people glorify God in us through our good works, like giving a cup of water to the thirsty and sharing our food with the hungry. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we have the strength to let go of bad company, entertainment, and activity that leads us to grievous sin and endanger our soul. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we strive to live in peace within our family, neighborhood, and larger community. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our homes become a place of welcome to those who come in need, sharing our time, talents, and love to all. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intention. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord Jesus, we ask you to listen to our prayer, and also may you help us to practice what we desire. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us all be seated and prepare the operatory. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you our holy people, he stretched out his hands as in your dissipation, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim.
uh, indeed the Holy O Lord, the font of all holiness, make a holy there for this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took a bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, Stephen, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that this blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, this blessed Joseph, her spouse, and this blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit or be called ears to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, "Peace I leave you, my peace I give you." Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of your minds and bodies, so that it affects and not our own desires. May always prevail in us through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the holy souls, eternal Father. I offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and my family. Amen. Announcement. You all invited to attend the fellowship with El Shaddai after this Mass. And thank you, Father, for being with us today. So as, it, yeah. so as the end of the Mass, I just want to say, let us be different, but at the same time, let us be peaceful. So different because we can serve each other and serve the community. Be peaceful is the Spirit of God is always peaceful. So now we ask God's blessings. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Mass is on as go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God.